Sometimes it's just glorifying God, magnifying God, testifying of the goodness of God. Somebody say amen. amen. Now here's what God is saying. I need you coming to church like that. Yeah. This Psalm 100 is a psalm to help us to understand how important it is when we come to church to, to magnify him, glorify him, testify of his goodness. Amen. Amen. But a lot of times, here's what people do. We come, as Mama said, just sit like bumps on the lawn. Yeah. I found this out. I, I used to hear that saying all the time. And, and I said, Mom, what in the world does that mean? And she said, you'll figure it out. And I finally figured it out. You know what a bump on the law is? A bump on the law. Yeah. Good for nothing. Yeah. Don't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, if you got a little knot in, in, in the piece of uh, wood, you try to get around it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave that one alone yeah. right now. So I don't want to be a bump on the law. Come yeah. on, right? Yeah. I, 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 want, I want to be a, a leaf that blossoms in the tree. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And God is saying, hey, you what you and I need to do. Learn to come with thanksgiving. Yeah. Learn yeah. to thank God for all he's done. Now, here's what God does for us. And I'm going to be real quick today uh, because I want to make sure my voice holds up for you and everything. First of all, write this down. The praise in the song. God says, I need some praise. Yes. I need praise. I tell you, people come to church and we don't even understand what praise is. Yeah. We don't even we don't even understand what God is telling us happens when we're praising him. Yeah, yeah. And so <clears throat> the first thing God says is there's gonna be praise. Number two, here's what God says. I'm not gonna give praise just for anybody. So the second thing is the people in the song. The praise in the song, but then there's the people in the song. Yeah. Who do you think it is? Look at me with me at verse number three. Know ye that the Lord he is God, and he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. Yeah. And God said, I, I don't expect the world out there to give me praise. Matter of fact, the world out there is trying to curse me and did crucify me. Amen. I got that everybody said, but but they don't understand something here. I came into this world. And we say today, we need to know I love to proclaim. I stand amazed. Amen. And God is saying, so first of all, there's got to be the praise. Now, I want to give that. Then I want to see the people. And then number three, write this down, the purpose. The purpose yeah. in the song. The purpose in the song. So, so why are you giving this to us, preacher? Because if we're going to give it all to God, we have got to give it all to him, starting with thanksgiving and praise and glorifying and magnifying and testifying of his goodness. God is saying, people just always sitting around talking about what, what they need from me, and they've forgotten what I've done for them. That's what we're going to deal with more this evening. But, but, but here's the first thing God said, how about some praise? This is what this is what God wants. Look at verse number one and two. We're going to be quick here today. Real quick today. He said, make a joyful what? Noise. And a lot of people always say, oh, that's how I sing. I just make a noise. I I'm going to help you with that today. Uh, because, because truth of the matter is this. That, that's not your singing right there. Matter of fact, you make a joyful noise to the Lord all your land. So I did. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Yeah. So that first verse is not your singing. That, that, listen to me. That, that first verse is your shouting. Amen. Yeah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. In other words, when, when somebody comes to you and, and, and they start saying stuff like this, what has God done for you lately? Everything. Amen. Amen. It's not just shouting, it's confidence. Right. It's trusting in the Lord yeah. with all your heart. Yeah. Making knowledge to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledging Him and believing He will direct your path. Yeah. 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 Do you know what God is saying? Something's missing today. Yeah. We come to church. And it's almost like we come and say, Boy, I still hope God does something today. I'm at the lowest point. God said, I did something yesterday. Yeah, and I did something last week. Right. And I did something last year. Come on, somebody. Yeah, and when you come to me, you come to me shouting with confidence. Yeah. The, the best illustration I have is in, is in, the, is in Joshua when the children of Israel were told to march around the wall. Yeah. They were told to march around the wall, and then all of a sudden, on that seventh day, they marched around seven times, and on the last time, they let out a shout. Right. Now, let me just ask you a question here. Why were they shouting? Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Now, you, 
that the deer is alive again. They believe that on the seventh time when they shout, the walls will come down. Right. Whether because of their shout or whether because of their God. Come on now. They just shout because God told them to shout. Right. And now, now listen to me. You and I in this room right now can shout all we want to. That's right. Unless an earthquake came here, these walls are not going anywhere. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So God is trying to teach us today. I need you to make a joyful noise. I need you to make a confident shout. I need you to understand that God can do anything but fail. And that's why I need you to come before my presence. Amen. Yeah. You know, Brother Jeffrey, a lot of people here say, I believe in God. When we believe in God, why are we always doubting him? Yeah. Come on. Come on. If we believe in God, why are we always saying, well, I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you something here. The only thing I don't know is when God will do what he's going to do. Right. Yeah. Come on. That's the only thing I don't know. I know if God promised me he's going to do something, God will get her done. Yeah. 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 So here's what God is saying. I need you to come to church every time you come to church. Every time you come through those doors, every time you enter into this place, you ought to be coming saying, God's going to do something today. Amen. Amen. Why? Because he's the God of it all. That's right. Amen. He's the God of all the land, all the people. God is sovereign and in control. Amen. Amen. So can I ask you a question today? How did you come to church? Just to get your time in? Or did you come here to say, man, I can't wait to see what God's going to do next. Yeah. He said, come with a joyful noise. I mean, and then when he, when, listen to me now. When he said joyful noise, I, I need you to realize something. Some people make noise, but it ain't joyful at all. <coughs> well, Amen. Yeah. We, 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 we even sometimes are confident. We got the confidence like this here. Well, it took a moment up. Oh, wow. Come on now. Yeah. This, you got to understand, just like Job, God don't always show you what's going on. And he may, when he get done, never let you know what's going on. But I'll make yeah. believe something. God got something going on. Somebody say amen. Yeah. God has said our problem today is this, is that we don't know how to shout. And then with our shouting, he said, why don't you do some singing? Do some singing is what God tries to help us with here. He said, come before his presence with singing. Yeah. And then you gotta have a song in your heart. Yeah. Now, like, some people come to church and they come waiting to get a song. Yeah. One of the things I, 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 I take and advise you to do, I really do, is get your own song. Yeah. Get you a song, learn to sing it when times get hard. Get you a song, learn to sing it when you feel like you're on the mountaintop. Get you a song when you're trying to call on it. Oh, by the way, songs, hymns, and spiritual songs. Amen. Amen. You need to have a song. You need to have something that'll, that'll, that'll take and penetrate your heart and get through Amen. the gloom and get through the darkness of your life. Amen. 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 You need a song that reminds you what the Lord did for you. Amen. I think everybody in here should be able to sing Amazing Grace without ever opening up a, a song. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I do. I do. We need to make sure our kids start learning stuff like that. Amen. Our kids don't even know Amazing Grace, but they know all of that stuff in the world. Amen. Oh, it's, I, 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 can't, I can't remember anything. Oh, that's just a bunch of excuses that God is saying I'm tired of. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you can learn amazing grace. Yeah. Right. I, I didn't know that preacher. Well, I learned it. Yeah. You say, preacher, you mess it up sometimes. I'm not saying anybody's perfect, but all you got to be able to get to at least verse one. Yeah. Yeah. And by the time you get down to verse number four, that ought to be shot ground. Yeah. Yeah. Man, when you finally get there 10,000 years, yeah. man, I'll tell you, so here's what God is saying to you. Something's missing today in the hearts of my people. Yeah. And if they don't give it all, you can ever learn how to say thank you and praise. That's right. Through their shouting of, of confidence and saying God is able. Through their singing, when they open up their lips, they're not singing wondering if God's going to come through. Yeah. They're singing saying thank God for how he has come through. Yeah. And I'm just waiting for him to finally come through again. Amen. Every song that we sang here today should have called everybody in here to have a little bit more shout. Amen. Amen. Number two, are you still with me? There's a people of praise. I read to you verse number three. We 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 are his we uh, we, uh, we we are his people and the sheep of his 
pastor. We are his people. Now, break this down if you don't mind. First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2. I hope you stick with me while I'm teaching and preaching today. It said, but uh, but we are, this is uh, First Peter chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. First Peter 2, 9 and 10. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Get this. That ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now listen to this now. Which in time past, well, we get this phrase, you know, I'm talking about the people. Which in times past were not a people. Let me read that again. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which have not obtained, which, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. That's what God is saying. You, you can't shout. Here's the reason why. You don't remember your past. Yeah, good. Why can't we shout? Why don't we sing? Because God said this to me. My people remember their past. Yeah. My people remember when they weren't my people. Yeah. My people remember when they didn't have mercy. Yeah. My people remember the day they found mercy and they became my people. Yeah. My people are thankful because their past is gone and now they got a yeah. amen. Yeah. My people are thankful they came out of darkness yeah. into the marvelous light. Yeah. Here's what God is saying. You and I, the reason why we're not thankful enough is because we don't remember enough of where we came from. Yeah. Yeah. I remember still, even as a little boy, needing to get saved and wanting to get saved and that first Sunday, I didn't get saved. And I remember I came back, and I got saved. And it been the most glorious thing that ever happened in my life. Amen. I got saved. Amen. Amen. You don't have to be old to understand that. That's right. But here's what God is saying. Do you go back? Like the song we used to sing that said, take me back. Yeah. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place when I first received you, yeah. take me back, take me back, dear Lord, where I, I first believed. Yeah. If I were to actually step into your testimony, what would you take me to? Good. What would you talk about? Yeah. If I were to say, before you got saved, tell me about your life before that. Yeah. Tell me about when you were not a people. Not one of his children. That's why I love what the Bible says. Now are we the sons of God. But wait a minute. It does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know one thing. When he appears, we shall be like him. Amen. Amen. But before that, I was nowhere close to him. Amen. So if I ask you right now to say, give me a testimony, what would you say? Well, why would you respond? Here's what God is saying. Too many of us, too many of us have forgotten where we come from. Yeah. Now we remember where you came from. Oh, by the way, that's one of the reasons why Paul, he hung in there when he was going through shipwreck and being beaten and all the things that he had to go through. Why? Because he remember, he was one of those over there holding the coats of all of those that were stolen, one of God's men who was standing up and preaching the gospel. And you know, at Damascus Road, he met the Lord Jesus Christ. Three times in the book of Acts, he gives that testimony. He never forgot where he came from. Right. 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 Last time you gave somebody a testimony of where you came from. Mm -hmm. yeah. Matter of fact, if you ever share the gospel, please just let people know it can work for you. Why? Because it worked for me. Yeah. Amen. I know who I am. That's right. I know what God has done for me. Amen. Think about it. Remember now, let me just read that again. The Bible said this here now. Are you still with me? Which in times past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Man, that ought to be, that's not a ground. That's time to pause and say, time out. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me, let me, back, back when I was growing up, they said, let me have a praise break, amen. Yeah. We need to have that sometime. I don't think we know what that really is, but that's okay. Yeah. Notice this, number two. The B, let me read this. A is our past life. But I want you to write down B, your present life. Yeah. Your present life. Your present life. The Bible says to us in this, this, this Psalm 100, and those are men, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. For I wish I had time to take you all the way through Psalm 23. And the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So let me just stop right there. It's just so many things all the way down from verse 2 to verse 6 in that 23rd Psalm. But the thing that I want you to get, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not one. Now, 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 please understand something. Here's what God said. The reason why, I, I'm, I'm really going to go hurt somebody probably right here. The reason why we're not as thankful as we should be, because instead of looking at the fact that we are the sheep, he is the shepherd. And because he is the shepherd, we shouldn't want. And, and here's the thing about it. Many of us, instead of instead of being, being uh, 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 satisfied all we do is complain. Yeah. We have the great shepherd. Amen. Yes. Amen. We, we, we have the good shepherd. Yes. We have the chief shepherd. Oh, I was going to try to preach that right now. Mm. On our side. Amen. God is saying, I need you to understand something here. You Listen to me now. You are being led by the greatest shepherd there ever has been. Yeah. There ever will be. Amen. In other words, you don't have to leave me beside still. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Well, I was had time to preach that whole thing. God is saying, you need to realize something here. I can lead you to the right place. I can take care of you when you get there. You don't have to worry about it. Just follow my lead. Yeah. And God has said, we're not even thankful for that. We complain about what we don't have. Wait a minute now. Here's the good thing about it. But like he only he not only leads me, but he feeds me. Amen. Amen. He don't just lead yeah. me, he feeds me. Amen. But here's what God said our biggest problem is. Instead of coming here saying, Thank you to God for your leadership. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard this old saying, if it wasn't for God, yeah. don't know where I would be. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. That sometimes people it's just a cliche. But if it wasn't for God, I don't know where I'd be. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But Mike, I left home. Because I didn't want to do what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. But if it wasn't for the leadership of God, Amen. controlling my life and right. kept my family, following me, where I would be right now. That's right. Man. That's right. right. Even when you listen to me now, even when you and I are making awful choices. Yep. There's still a God trying to lead us. Amen. He don't give up on us. He don't kick us to the curb. Right. He don't try to say, I'm done with you. Yeah. Are you glad yeah. we still have his leadership? We still have second chances and third yeah. chances yeah. and other chances. Yeah. Yeah. He got a Jonah to finally get to Nineveh. Mm -hmm. He had to get him in the belly of a whale first. Right. But aren't you glad that was God's leadership in his life? Amen. Amen. If God is trying to teach you now today, you ought to be thankful that He will just leave us to our own devices. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us would be saying, Boy, again, but for God, yeah. <laughs> who knows where I would be? Yeah. And aren't you glad He feeds you along the way? Like this? Yeah. I mean, He equips you and gives you not just food, I mean, He equips you and gives you everything you need to take care of situations in life. Yeah. He gives you strength when you need it. He gives you wisdom when you don't know what to do. Come on, somebody. Amen. I am so glad I've got a God that loves me. So here's the thing I want you to do about his people. Are you still with me? Amen. His people, please, let's stop complaining. Amen. Amen. Complaints take away praise. Amen. When you are complaining, it's hard for you to be thankful. That's right. 
He said, well, preacher, you don't know what's going on in my life. No, I don't know what's going on in your life. I know one thing. If you didn't have God in your life, it would be a whole lot worse than what it is right now. So let's stop complaining. And then please do this here. Don't compromise along the way. He said, until God comes through, I think I'll do this. Well, no, 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 no. You stick with the one who's leading you yes. and guiding you along the way. Yes. For if he leads you, you will not stray. Say, Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. Amen, somebody? Amen. So God said, first of all, uh, I need to understand the praise that's in this song. So important you and I learn to praise him. And then you need to understand the people. I can't get that kind of praise from folks out there, but I should be able to get it from people and here to yeah. stop complaining and stop compromising yeah. along the way. Yeah, yeah. I didn't notice this. Are you still with me? <laughs> Number three, sorry about that, on verse number five. The Lord is good. Yes. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endure to all generations. Yes. The purpose God gives us for this song. What is it, God? Of course, come enter in with some thanksgiving. Get to the courts with some praise. Be thankful. Bless his holy name. What God is saying. I, I don't want you just, I don't want to just say it. That, that is like you said, okay, right now, I need everybody to praise Christopher. No? <laughs> yeah, you know, this would all you do like this. <laughs> right. So, what for? Right. Uh, uh, it, let me make it worse. Everybody praise Maya. Even she would. <laughs> It's not before. Right, yeah. See, here's the thing about God. God desires praise, demands praise, and deserves praise. Yeah. Let me say it again. Desired it, demanded it, but wait a minute, he deserves it. Yeah. See, anybody in here deserves it. You, you praise me. You sing about me. You say thank you to me. What for? Amen. Verse 5. You still with me? Yeah. For the Lord is yeah. good. Oh, I think you're catching on already. His mercy is and his truth endure to all generations. I guess I give you some reason to take and praise me. You got some reason now to lift up my name. I said two things real quickly. Because of my character. Yes. And number two, because of my guarantees. Amen. God said, wait a minute now. So all of a sudden, Christopher. He, he says, do it because of my character. And you start saying, that ain't going to work. Mom and dad stand up real quick and say, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. Uh, and then, and then, let's go back to my, and, and she says, but I guarantee it. And her brother and sister are sitting there saying, can't stand on that. I've seen so many promises fail. Yeah. Yeah. It was like to say. But you would never be able to find a fault with my character. That's right, right. That's right. That's right. Never, ever. That's right. And you'll never be, listen to me now, you'll never be able to take and say something's not good again with my promises. That's right. Notice what he says. Let me just say it again here. For it, the Lord is good. So you're right, you, you got it already. He's good. His mercy is everlasting. He's gracious. His truth endures. To all generation, he guarantees. So, now write this down. Remember this here. Are you still with me? You, you, you with me now? Okay, check. Write this. That endure. You look at the end of it. It's three little letters on the end. Right. What is that? E T H. Yeah, man. You, you remember? Yeah. I tried to teach you about that. Yeah. You know what that means, brother Jeffrey? It endure goes on and on and on yeah. and on. And uh, here's what yeah, I yeah, say. Yeah, Even yeah. when you fall off the scene, it endures to all generations. Amen. So God said, Get this about me. You see this about my character, my goodness, my grace, my guarantee. And watch this. It keeps continuing on. Amen. Yeah. It is consistent and constant. It does not stop when you pass off the scene. Amen. But God is saying, This is why you and I. To let our kids know about God. Amen. Amen. 
living out the same promise that's right, that's right. that we have in this song. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So I want to ask you a question today. Do you praise God like you should? Stop before you answer. Can I, can I just can I just give you the three things that God has made in my heart? If you praise God like you should, because remember verse four, we're coming into let me make sure I get it right. We're entering into His gates with thanksgiving and to His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name. So when they were coming to the temple, brother Mike, guess what? They weren't coming as one individual get in, yeah. another individual get in, yeah. and finally another. They were coming as a group. That's right. That's right. So here's what God is saying. When you really get to a place where this, this praise and this thanksgiving is natural, it becomes public. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Yes, right. So in church, it's a public. Come on yeah, now. Right. Out, out in the world. When we talk about worship, it's a public worship of God. Amen. It's not See, here's what God has. God has too many secret disciples. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Our, 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 our love for God is hidden somehow. Yeah. So here's what God said. Hey, here's what I need you to start doing. Adam this day. Make sure it's a public praise. And then, number two, are you still with me? Here's another thing. I don't get it. God said, why is it a passionate praise? Yeah. I'm telling you, let something else happen in your life. I'm telling you, you tell people, huh? we got the house, we got the car, uh, the kids got in the college. Yeah. yeah. God saved my soul. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I said, where's the passion in our praise? That's right. Be thankful. And then, get this, we can perpetuate. Don't let it stop. That's right. Amen. We hit and miss with a lot of things. It should never be with thanking the Lord. Amen. Somebody Amen. say that. Amen. Today, here we've got to say, the church ought to change forever. That's right. Because when we get all the people on the same level on one accord, like in the book of Acts, things begin to happen. Yes, sir. That you start seeing God do. Because God wants to take and bless his people. Yeah. Somebody yeah. say amen. Right. Father, thank you so much for the great truth. And I've given all I got by way of physical. The Holy Spirit of God, you don't even need me physically. I just pray now.